Hi there, Sandra here from the Schwoven's Nest. Thanks for stopping by today. So these are all the great things that I picked up at the thrift store to do some more pumpkins. I am so into pumpkins this year. It's absolutely amazing. Anyway, I've got this vase here. It's really nice and round. It was $5.99. I got it because look at these cool little markings. I think that's going to be so neat. I also picked up a couple of bags of all of these little rattan fillers. Some of them are blue and brown. There's a big one. But the reason I got them was for these. I think these are made out of coconut fiber or something like that. Anyway, they're totally solid and I thought they would make the cutest little pumpkins. I'm going to work on these little coconut fiber balls and I'm going to take some of this yarn and put it around so it looks like the ribs of a pumpkin. I'm using just a bit of hot glue to start the yarn and to also attach it there each time I come around and then I'm just going to go off in a different direction, again, making sure that the yarn is hitting the hot glue at the top. I'm also going to add a little stem that I just picked up from my backyard. I also added a couple of little smaller sticks just laying down on the side to make it look like it has some little tendrils popping off of it. I'm going to do the same with the next one. For this little something or other, I'm not quite sure what it is. It actually might be some type of pomegranate or something like that. Anyhow, I thought it had the perfect shape down here for an acorn. So I'm going to use my Dollar Tree twine and just glue it around the top and make this guy look like an acorn. I'm going to start by gluing a piece of stick onto the top. So that will act as the stem of the acorn and it will also give me a place to start winding the twine. Today's video is part of a challenge that's hosted by Sonia at Domestic Diva DIY. Her channel is amazing. She does some really fun DIYs. Right now it's all about fall for her, which is like all of us. Her co-host is Vesna TV. Vesna is a young channel starting out, so please make sure you go over to her channel, hit that subscribe button, and give her your support. I've got it all completed, but I want this part to look just a little bit thicker. So I'm going to take the twine and just wrap it around a few more times just to give the acorn a little bit more of a textural feel. I'm also going to use some of these filler balls for pumpkins simply by adding a stem to the top. And that's all it takes. So really easy to do, simple, simple trash to treasure. I also have this leftover gray yarn from a different project. This I got last year in the winter at the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to use that for the other two pumpkins like this. I'm gonna use the same effect and just wrap it around. I'm going to use chalked paint from Rust-Oleum in linen white and just a really rough cheap brush. I'm going to probably need to give it a couple of coats, but I'll see how things go. I've got two coats painted on this vase and I've decided to flip it over and use the bottom as the top. Then I don't have to worry about the hole. I'm also taking a dry brush and some light gray chalk paint, which is acrylic paint mixed with some baby powder. The recipe for that is down in my description box. And I'm just going to dry brush up and down the pumpkin. I want those little dots to be accentuated and I want some of the brush strokes to also be accentuated by the gray paint. I got the idea to use some nautical rope and then just wrap it around onto itself so it builds up in sort of a cone shape. Once I get to the top, I'll be able to add that stick that you see laying there on the table and that will become this pumpkin stem. 
when you're done watching my video, I would love it if you could click on Sonia and Vesna's channels. Their links will be in down in my description box. Go over and subscribe to their channels. Tell them I sent you. There's also going to be a playlist link. You're not going to want to miss that. Lastly, I have this big jug that I picked up for $2 and it is a really old jug. It's made in Canada, which is where I'm from. I think I'm going to remove the label, although it's a really neat vintage label. I removed the old label and I wanted to put a new label on, but make the new label look old. So I went to my computer and I created this little label. It says Kentucky Farms since 1886 apple cider. I'm going to just take off the excess just by folding the paper over and then I'm going to tear it because I don't want it to look absolutely perfect. I'm going to do that on all four sides. I'm going to use this bare antique wax and it's a dark brown color. I'm going to use a makeup sponge and just go across the paper and make it look old and weathered. Using some Mod Podge, I'm going to glue the label right onto the jug. Once I've got it down and pressed smooth, I'll add some Mod Podge onto the top of the label too, just to make sure it stays put. Since this is a clear glass jug, I wanted to make sure that any extra Mod Podge wasn't showing because it does kind of leave a bit of a white film. I just grabbed a baby wipe and just scrubbed around the outside of the label to clean that up. Here's a look at how all of my projects turned out. I'd like to thank Sonia and Vesna for hosting this challenge. If you like this kind of content, I would love for you to stick around a while. Hit that red subscribe button and click the bell to get notified when I upload new videos. Thanks so much for watching to the end. I really appreciate your support. Bye for now.